This is the Crusader Aris Starfighter Iron, and it's an absolute meme, and today I'm gonna show you why. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a not very serious video today. I just been playing around with the Starfighter Iron here and it is an absolute meme. This is what happens and this is actually the lore and game that, that Crusade Industries, they have this big gun. You can see on the side next to the cockpit, they say, hey, we have a big gun. Let's build a ship and put it on. And they did. So they took this huge gun and they said, we're going to build a ship around it. So this is not really a ship with a gun, but more a gun with a ship attached to it. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. Now, this is classified as a heavy fighter, but maneuverability-wise, it's actually pretty good. So, I'm just gonna go find some missions, and uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you what this thing can do. So, I just pick up a combat mission, and this is just a normal medium threat level, nothing too fancy. And before you post the comment, yes, I know, this is absolutely not intended to be a dogfighting ship. This is intended to be fighting bigger, heavier targets like hammerheads, Idrises, those kind of things, and going in and fighting smaller things in a dogfight is not what this is for, but when you do, it is hilarious, as you will see here in a second, when we get to our target. Well, we find ourselves our first target here. Let's uh, see if we can follow him around in the turn here, and land a shot. Oh, well, a really poor shot, apparently. There we go. That was a successful hit. Let's see if we can do that again. There we go, second hit is in. Oh, we got people firing missiles. We're just gonna fire a few decoys. Oh, he's over there somewhere. Sensors are not amazing on this thing. Again, it is really intended for bigger targets, but you have good range. So you can sit here and snipe people at range. Once they come in close and you land the hit, there we go, target is down. And this is pretty much what this ship is all about. <laughs> you go in, you fight something, you land one shot, they explode, you move on to your next target. Oh, we got ourselves some more targets here, let's see what we got. We got ourselves, oh, this is a poor little Aurora. <laughs> Almost feel sorry for the thing. I can actually hit it at this kind of range. Moves around quite a bit. Coming in close. There's a hit. What was the other one? There was one more target here. Gonna use my uh, Toby Eye Tracker to so get a. Oh, we got some incoming missiles. Fire off some decoys. There we go. Decoys away. Oh, almost. Oh, he actually took a shot there at the rear. And survived. That is impressive. So as you can see here, when smaller ships go in close to you, you can have problems actually keeping up with them. Uh, in terms of your turn speed, it's not that maneuverable, but you should be able to catch up with them. And when you do land a shot, well, you only have to land one. Let's see, if we can catch the next one here. Well, see, so he is also getting in very close to us here. I'm gonna have to use my thrusters here a little bit to catch up with him. There it is. And shots out and he's gone. <laughs> oh, this thing. And it will just do this for days. Again, it comes in two variants. It comes in the Inferno and the Ion. This is the Ion with a laser cannon. It also comes in the Inferno uh, variant that has like a big Gatling gun that will also just wreck things around you. But it's just such a fun ship to fly. Hey, I picked myself up a easy end alert. Hopefully we're gonna find ourselves some uh, some slightly bigger targets in here. Something that maybe will take a little bit more than just a single shot to kill. But first of course we need to find the target we need to protect. Okay, he got in nice and close to us. So that should mean it's a little bit easier for us to, uh, to land that shot. There it is. Where's the next target? 
it is right there. This time we are dealing with... Where is this this time? Oh, Cutlass Black. Okay. Not bad. Here we go. Well, avoid the missile. And... One shot in on the Cutlass. Two shots in on the Cutlass. Three shots in. Wow. There we go. Took a few more shots to get the Cutlass down, but we got him down eventually. Oh, hold on. We got another hostile behind us here. Let's see what we have this time. It is another Cutlass. Oh, here we go. Got it lined up. Almost. Almost. That looked like a hit. That's a hit again. That's a hit. That's a hit. Things are beginning to explode on the Cutlass. There we go. That took a while. Oh. That target we're about to protect is actually being attacked right now. We can't have that. There we go. Stop that. You're not allowed to do that. I think you got a pretty good feeling for, for what this ship is. An absolute mean, super fun to fly, and when you're fighting all these smaller targets, it just rips things to shreds. <laughs> it's it's really hilarious. I think that the sheet DPS or the, the alpha damage for this one is like five and a half or six thousand damage or something stupid like that. Now, while this ship is not available for in-game money just yet, at least at the time of this recording, I am expecting that we should see this available for in-game purchase uh, in patch 316. So, in the future, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna save up some money for this thing and uh, buy me one, just because it is such a fun, you will have such a fun evening flying around this thing. But that's great for today. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.